as horrible ideas go. It's like uh, 10 out of 10 on the horrible scale. All right, which one is... Uh, 50% contained. Clap, Let's well done, everyone. Thou shalt not pass. Ah, oh, this is when Nathan gets the shit kicked out of him in later life. The hallway, not the room. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess Probably he's really good. really good or... That's not half bad. Flushed wings taut with agony. Okay. Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait. Are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Huh. <laughs> Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Crazy. So mad. Elliot's mom seems nice. Aww. Lucky Dana. <laughs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> There's Wait, Warren. way less porn here is than Warren... I would have thought. He searched my name a few times. Is Warren the guy that's just fucking fallen for us later? I can't remember. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? Eh, it's a sad sentiment. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. Okay, let's do that last then. Let me just check all the others, see if I can get in anywhere else. Although, never mind, <laughs> it's not looking positive. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Mm hmm. Sneak Master 9000. Coming at you with the latest in sneaking technology. He's got little figures. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Uh, oh nine? <laughs> Oh nine oh nine. Damn it! Wrong numbers. Never mind. Twenty thirty six or eleven twenty thirty. Let's try eleven twenty and then twenty thirty six. Eleven twenty. Damn it! Wrong numbers. Twenty thirty six. Damn it. Wrong numbers. It's got to be something we can see, right? A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Uh, well, none of them are... F oh, 12-12. Maybe. We're going to keep on trying. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? 
No wonder you're so into football. Indeed. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. And our survey says, hey, oh wait. Might actually need some help with this one. If you had to guess, what's the most important thing to Drew? Random question, I don't know, probably Mikey. Cool, totally unrelated. When Mikey, when's Mikey's B day? Not for a while, 1227. I'm probably throwing a party, send you details, thanks. 1227, uh, worth a shot. Yes. This is kind of... Who fun. the fuck seriously uses people's birthdays as codes in this day and age? Aww. Aww. Did little Drew beat you up too? He's a cute daddy. <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Let's I didn't have a look around first. Drew was this good at sports. Uh, what? He turned it down? Oh, a University of Oregon degree. Oh, okay, sorry. I was Frank wasn't like, lying. What? Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. <laughs> so many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. We might have failed to kill you, Durgeron. But something tells me Mikey's not through. Yet. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. I want them. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Aww. <laughs> they look so happy. Okay, we good? I think we're good. Uh oh. Mikey? It's gonna be Mikey, isn't it? Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You want to go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Uh, what's going on? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever Guessing if I'd do, asked what's going on, he'd have said nothing. Open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the Aww. place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. 
I can't just make money appear out of thin air. I want oh. my money. You don't have to hit it's me, gonna man. be do we intervene or not. Where is it? Please. Just give me one week. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Jesus. Fuck. Give Damon the money or stay with Mikey. Our survey says. Uh -uh. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother. I talk Fuck. To you See you soon. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Ow. That does not look okay. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Ah, uh, Keeping it. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? Not to run. <laughs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I One step at a time. One foot in front of the other. Well, <laughs> at least we got the money for Frank. Mission accomplished, da da da? Question mark. Don't think he needs to know about that little mishap. That is a very pretty skybox with all the smoke. I approve. Are we going to be able to watch the f fucking play? Or has it already finished? I don't know what time it was meant to be on. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey told me what happened. Poor Drew. I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. I didn't do anything. You held on to Mikey. He told me. It meant a lot to him. Well, oh dear. <laughs> I spent a few minutes with Damon Merrick and you can tell he's a peace-loving guy who gardens in his spare time and loves unicorns and rainbows. Is that... Was Damon Merrick the guy that had graffiti written about him in the first, in the barn, near the start of the first episode. Oh, and breaking people's kneecaps. It's the simple pleasures. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. I know that he collects on his debts and his name is written all over the mill. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, it is. And he might even scare Frank. I think they work together, but unlike Frank, he's got a bite to match his bark. Oh, is this 
Is this the guy that was in the photo with Frank that was like his best friend? Everyone at the mill that night seemed to know him, but every time I asked someone about him, they clammed right the hell up. And you have to be a special breed of fucked up to scare any kind of sense into the criminal element of Arcadia Bay. The one thing everyone will tell me, the guy is bad news. Max. Fuck. Remember that easy job for Frank I told you about? Yeah, not quite. First, I jacked Samuel's keys, then used my Jedi powers to get past Skip into the dorms, by which I mean talking about my lady bits till he freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour into Elliot's room and read his poetry. Dude's got feelings for me, I think. I'm flattered, I guess. I wonder what that would say if I hadn't done that. Anyway, I found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Have you ever met someone that you just n knew never to fuck with? I hadn't, until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for the money he owed. I stayed with Mikey like Drew wanted. It was horrifying. I think Damon actually broke Drew's knee. And then after, I kept his money. I'm not sure why I did it. I need the money to get out of town, but it felt not great. It was all so, so, so fucked. And the most fucked part was that I had anything to do with it. Chloe, thief and all around bad person. I don't think I was a bad person. I'd fucking keep the money. If, if like, if I was going to give the money to him, I'd have done it whilst Glory he was getting the shit kicked out of him. Firewalk. Laser light spectacular. Strobe. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig That is the question. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there. Oh shit, yeah, of course. I didn't even think of that. Sports just look so... Drew seems to be the captain of every blackball sport. Not anymore. See? Another reason to be thankful for my uh, recent life change. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. No. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just going to laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. Dad. When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. Wah, my name. Wah. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. What a dick. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like... A private bunker filled with gold coins <laughs> where you could have these conversations? Wanker! Nathan. To be fair, that's a good fucking bit of face paint right there. Fuck! Not gonna lie. Just because he's a dick doesn't mean it's not good. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking... Honestly, I had I'm no sorry. idea where that option was going. For I what? didn't that was not what I you didn't kill my dad. expected her to say at all. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the 
two of you are really similar. Sure hope he doesn't uh, murder me. What the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? <laughs> when I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But trust me, he was glad we did. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. You're super welcome. Moving on. R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Slut? Wow. they don't call it drama for nothing. Okay, come on, Rachel. Where you at? How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry until the show is over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Oh, okay. Rachel? Uh, what are you doing? I don't trust you. You putting laxatives in a drink? What's going on here? Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. Indeed, let's swap those cups around. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped. I just talked to Damon. He said he had come he had to come down hard. Didn't see you. What happened? Did you find the money? Price, where's the money? This is serious. Quit fucking around. Unless you're dead, reply. Let's meet tomorrow. Have answers. Alright, dude, that calm it. Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a little, little sneeze. I think you can hear when I mute the mic. I think it does a little clicky sound. Muscle relaxers. Coming, Rachel. Swap the cups. Swap the cups. Before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? <sighs> God, you're pathetic. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show whatever oh rachel amber it was customary among the thespians of ancient greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage it is in that spirit that i offer you this beverage and you are you gonna say something chloe come on your talents for all to see wow that, um, thanks. Distract Victoria or tell Rachel. Wait up, Rachel. Bitch, dosed your tea. Excuse me? How dare you? Victoria, could this possibly be true? Uh, of course. 
course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Then drink it. Hmm. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. What? I wouldn't dare insult Victoria's integrity like that. <laughs> then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. Drink the tea. Come on, Drink, drink the tea. Put drop drink out the Chloe tea. in her place once and for all. Didn't think so. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, happy. So happy. Oh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. Bitches. <laughs> wow. Lol. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's work. It's becoming just and this my job at this point. Particularly patch it crazy day. Sweet pardon me. We're ruined. The show is ruined. What, because Thingamabob isn't here? My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. I'll do it. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. I'll do it. Me, me, me. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even oh my god, my just let me fucking stick my hand up. Of a Shut of up. Bait. Touche. <laughs> now, can I stick my hand up? What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. <laughs> she is indeed. Tell me, my That's dear, what really matters. have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And all she's the time, because we are long-term friends. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd shit my pants. I'd say you're super fucked. <laughs> Chloe, please. Oh my god, I love her. me. Well, when you put it like that. Damn it. <laughs> Good fucking jump cut. I appreciate that. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this.